uh, when you're in the case study environment, you're taught to say the right thing, the smart thing uh, in, that, in that world. If you've got this idea that you're really scared to be wrong, uh, you're not going to be able to lead innovation. You're not going to be able to, to lead yourself through an innovation process particularly seamlessly. Um, this is the biggest, it's one of the biggest things, right? Are you scared? Are you scared? Do you, do you feel like you really have to say the smart things? There's another one of these which I didn't share. The, the picture is even racier, so I don't share it. But um, it was uh, smart, had one good idea, and it was stupid. <laughs> And you might have been in this like, meeting before where like, somebody shows up with these ideas, right? It's like, oh no, here they come with that idea. It's the blue shoe idea. And they bring that idea back over and over and over again. And like, what about the blue shoe idea? And they just share the same idea over and over again. It's like, all right, we get it. That's a smart idea. Um, being impatient for the wrong things. This is, this is key. So this is retail sales of a domestic beer brand in the United States over the time frame from 2002 to 2006. The y-axis is millions of dollars, millions of dollars. So is this a business you want to build or not? Show of hands, people want to build this business. Yeah, that's not a bad curve, right? You can buy yourself a house with a lake and a boat, right? Uh, I'm going to plot the sales over the same, oh, it's Blue Moon. It's a cool brand, right? I plotted the same. The same, um, same sales next to the wholesale sales of SAB Miller, I think it was, over the same time period. So I mixed the axes. So the blue bars are the retail sales that we just looked at. Green bars are the wholesale sales of that company over the same time period. What do you notice? There's no blue bars. 